Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Holly, and today we are in the Range Rover Sport supercharged V8 510 horsepower and I absolutely love this color. So at first glance it looks white and I need to find out the exact name. Let me turn up this lighting a bit. If you guys could tell it's almost like a Sharknado but it's factory. absolutely gorgeous so i just got this yesterday if you watched the vlog before um at the auction clean title one owner and uh just took pictures of it getting it posted today and uh we'll see if we get any buyers last time i had one of these it sold extremely fast um and to me extremely fast is I mean, extremely fast is like 12 hours. You post it and then you sell it the next day, like the next morning. But a week is pretty solid. So I'm hoping for about a week, get the traction going. Usually whenever I post a car on Facebook Marketplace, you get like, once you see, oh, you've got, like you've received 3,000 views in 24 hours. That's pretty much when you know it's going to sell within a week, um, most of the time, as long as you, you know, have a car priced fairly or you have it priced, uh, you know, for at what someone is willing to pay for it. Sometimes that's over market value. Sometimes, most of the time, it's under. Um, I always try to give good deals and uh, make people happy with what they have walking away, uh, walking away with, you know, whatever I want somebody to feel like they've just been ripped off or something like that so we always try to treat the customers right keep them happy but man i'm happy <laughs> driving this around check it out yeah i mean it's if you could hear that it's a monster some of these comes come with the uh supercharged v6 and those are sweet too, but not gonna lie, the supercharged V8 510 horsepower is just really a beauty. Um, so that's what we're in today. Check out the inside. Got the panoramic. Pretty much fully loaded, premium Meridian sound system. So hey, if you're in the market, come check me out. I'll give you a good deal. Always sell under. Uh, Carfax value and the difference between Carfax value and like Kelly Blue Book value being a dealer at least is They check the specific VIN number to the car. They read the history How many times it's been serviced? If it's been in any accidents if it's rebuilt clean title, etc And they give you this specific value for that car a lot of people will be like, oh, well, it says it's worth this much um, but I'm like, okay, well that one has eight owners and no service records So there's a big difference and, and if I had a car like that or I bought one like that from the auction Obviously, it's gonna be a much better deal, but I try to get one owner with service records so usually, you know exactly what you're getting and uh, It's most of the time more reliable you could have one really bad owner <laughs> And then in that case, it's terrible. But this specific one was bought at Land Rover of Louisville, serviced at Land Rover of Louisville, traded into Land Rover of Louisville for a new one. So I love getting cars like these. No lights, nothing like that. Um, just had oil change and everything. So, and it is hot as can be in here. But anyways, guys, gonna go grab the other car that I bought yesterday, post that one up. So let's go check that one out. All right, guys, so this is not the next car I'm selling, but uh, I just got this in the mail, and um, I've been waiting for it for a little while, ever since I bought this. Uh, it's the weight that you put on 
So it's like, so when you use full self-driving, it never asks you to touch it. So it's magnetic. Let's see how this works. Okay, so let me see if I can. <laughs> Wait a second, hold on. I wonder, hold on, let me just try to put this up. I think it goes like that. Wow, okay, yeah. It just snaps on there, magnetic. I guess if I ever want to take it off, I can, but basically, <laughs> it's going to think that my hand is always on this and never tell me. Now, guys, I don't advise like to do this and fall asleep or not pay attention. It's just the fact is, if I'm sitting here and I'm paying attention to the road and it's on full self-driving, why should I have to every 30 seconds do this? Because all you have to do is move a volume button in order for the uh, self-driving to keep going. That's literally doing nothing. Just pay attention to the road, and you don't have to move your hand every, you know, uh, 30 seconds or whatever it is. But, guys, I got this one from eBay. Same exact thing um, on Amazon. On Amazon, they're like $87 ebay it was 38 so about a being about a boom i waited like three extra days not really a big deal so yeah if you own a tesla 38 bucks ebay don't have to touch the steering wheel also this will work even better this will work extremely well for the one that's just like the six thousand dollar autopilot the basic autopilot because still it won't make you touch it back and forth so really the full self-driving is low-key unnecessary if you get this little weight. I mean, yes, it doesn't, like, self-drive in the streets, at, like, downtown and stuff and turn for you, like, as well. But for the most part, it does pretty good. So we're going to test this out, like, uh, later on or, like, another day and see if it actually works. But supposedly, you don't have to touch it ever again. So pretty sweet. Anyways, on to the next vehicle. Oh, all right, guys. Got this all nice and detailed. Looking good. It's actually a really fun car to drive. <laughs> but when you got a little manual with a little turbo, it's always fun to drive. This is the uh, Autobahn edition. Whatever that means. It's got the heated seats. Um, little sport package. Can't really go wrong, guys. Oh, yeah. She's fun. I did have a little airbag light pop up after I bought it, which is interesting. It's clean title one owner. Gonna have to get that little light fix so we'll see what's up with that um it says resistance too high on the driver seat belt tensioner so not a big deal it's something to do with the little sensor down here uh the wire so all done and uh now i'm headed to sell the 430i bmw and then after that we got pickleball going going on so I'm actually kind of in a rush, so I will see you guys on the flip side. What is up guys? So I am meeting a client right now to let go of this baby. Had a good run. Always absolutely love BMWs, especially when they got the little M Sport going on, but this is pr pretty much going to be it for my day. I'm over here at Good Bounce, about to play some pickleball afterwards. And uh, hopefully, Carter, I beat you. I beat you down. That's what I plan to do. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Peace.